Don't do it, it's a trap. Take a moment and step back from that keyboard. Hands up. Hello, writers, and welcome back to Spooky Writes. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing, drop a like, leave a comment. Help spread these videos. I post videos all about writing. My name is Kamal Onor. I'm a horror short story author, and I'm, and I'm here to teach you some things about writing. Today I'm going to help you avoid the biggest trap that new writers fall into, so stay tuned. Novels. That's right. Big, beautiful novels. Now before you click off this video, hear me out. Because I was just like you at one point, I used to think that the only type of writing that anyone ever did was novels. I'd go from idea to idea, writing bad prose after bad prose. After all, I was only 16, and I still didn't even know how to use a comma correctly, or even how to form a coherent sentence. But I was going to write a novel. And I did, but it was so bad that I buried it. Not literally, but I stored it away on a file on, on my computer and never let it see the light of day. I ended up writing three more novels, each one a little better. But and you know what I did with those novels? That's right, I buried them too. Still ended up burying these novels and storing them away on a file on my computer to never see the light of day. My prose was so bad that I basically kept these writing projects as secret. I didn't share them with anyone, and they were so bad that it wasn't even worth me going back to revise them later, later on because it was just so... so my writing skill was so abysmal because, again, I was so young when I was convinced that I had to write novels if I wanted to be an author. If I wanted to be a writer, writers write novels, right? Now, I have said this before that I think it's important to do bad writing. It's important to write as much as you possibly can, even if it's not up to the standard that you want it to be, even if it's just writing for yourself. And I think this is so important to help you discover your voice, to help you to discover what type of stories you want to be writing as the as, as an author, what type of stories that you want to write as, as an author. But the big reason why writing a novel is a trap for many beginning writers is the fact that it's so time consuming. And instead you could use that time in a more effective way, in a more productive way to help you reach your writing goals faster. Because the length, the sheer length of a novel requires so much more time to get from idea to finish result and you're not even able to to look at the thing you're not able to see the thing com completed and so many times beginning writers will have a great will have an idea that gets them inspired gets them excited to write their their novel gets them excited to start writing a scene or a character and it ends up fizzling out somewhere in the middle and authors will beginning authors will tend to not authors will tend to never finish these novels they'll have starts and stops of novels and this is going to be a detriment to your writing. It's going to, it's going to trap you in this never-ending cycle of trying to chase a novel. And instead of writing novels, you should be writing short stories. So instead, instead of, so instead of writing novels, I would highly recommend that you focus your attention on writing short stories or even flash fiction or even micro fiction. Because when you're writing pieces that are much shorter in length, you're able to look at them. You're able to look at the whole at the substance of what you're trying to write. You're looking at all the bones in the dirt and you're able to piece it together and you're able to practice those skills of editing, those skills that will serve you so much better later on in your writing career. It allows you to try different writing techniques. It allows you to try different characters, different storylines, different arcs, different transformations of characters. It allows you to try so many different things when you're writing short form, when you're writing short stories, when you're writing microfiction or flash fiction, you're able to do so much more in a much quicker time period than you are being stuck with one character and their journey through a 60,000 plus manuscript. And again, you need, to, you need to get into the habit of practicing, going from idea to finished product, and then revising and editing, because editing is a skill in itself and especially it's going to really help you in terms of practicing submitting your work because you need to be practicing submitting your work. In a way, when you're working with short stories or you're working with microfiction, you're able to see all the bones in the dirt and you're able to piece it together in a much quicker time frame than you would a novel. Again, novels are, are incredible undertakings.
the biggest trap that the biggest trap that beginning authors and beginning writers will fall into is this idea that they have to write a novel they have to create a, a novel and they have to spend so much time they have to and beginning authors will tend to spend years and years and years working on novels and they'll end up just burying them i know i buried the first four five six novels that i wrote because i was so young and again i didn't have a great grasp of how grammar work I didn't have I didn't even have my voice I was sort of imitating the fantasy fiction authors that I that I enjoyed when I, when I was much younger because the truth is so much of your early work is going to be just for you so much of your early work is work that you're never going to share with anyone it's work that you just need to get out of you it's bad writing but it's writing that needs to be done to help develop your skills to help you understand and see what's working in your writing and what's not working in your writing. And you just kind of have to get all this bad writing out of you. You have to get the movie ideas out of you. You have to get the stale characters out of you. You have to just write as much as you can. And so there's nothing wrong with writing bad novels, but what, but what ends up happening is when you end up spending years and years and years of your writing time devoted to a novel that you will eventually just put away and most likely never revisit again. So I highly recommend that you work on shorter pieces, work on micro fiction, work on flash fiction, work on short stories, because you're able to you're able to see the finished product in a much quicker time frame. You're able to look at the thing in its entirety, and you're able to work with it and edit it and revise it in a much faster, quicker time. You can write a short story in a day, and then the next day you can you can edit and revise it in the very you can edit and revise it the very next day. And we already know that the average person reads so little as is that it's more likely that they'll actually sit down and read a short story from start to finish as opposed to a novel. Although I do know that short story collections tend to be a hard sell for a lot of publishers, especially without a, without a previous novel publication, it's very difficult for a short story collection to sell. Writing short stories, writing shorter work is also going to help you practice submitting. It's going to help, it's going to help you understand how to, how to write a cover letter, how to address an editor, how to be professional with, how to be professional with an editor, how to be professional in your, in your emails back and forth with a publisher. How to, and, and sort of what to expect from an editor and what to expect from a publisher. And this is all stuff that you need to be practicing before you're ever sending out a novel. So try your hand writing short stories. Who knows? You might even enjoy writing short stories and you might even get some published. And that's going to help build your credentials. It's going to help build your, your credibility as an author. Also remember that so many authors, so many well-known authors began their journeys, began their writing careers as short story authors. Ray Bradbury was a short story author. And Stephen, Stephen King, King. Stephen King's still publishing short stories. Publishing short stories and publishing shorter work allows you to start to build a name for yourself. It allows you to start to build a portfolio that you can show to, to agents and you can show to editors when you get to the point when you have a finished novel that you feel is, is at the quality that you want to be submitting it. And once you're submitting your work, part of your author bio will include your short stories that you've had published previously. And it, it looks a lot better when you have short stories behind you because it shows that you're able to work well with editors and you're able to work well with publishers. And remember, just because the average person might not read tons of literary magazines, they might not read they might not read a whole lot of short stories or a lot of flash fiction. It doesn't mean that editors and publishers aren't reading those magazines. Remember that if you are very early in your writing journey, it's so vital, so important for you to be building the habits of writing. So my recommendation would be start writing the shortest pieces that you can. Start out with some flash fiction, start out with some micro fiction. Write a piece that's 100 words, write a piece that's 200 words and slowly build up the length of the pieces that you're writing. Write 10 or 15 flash pieces, submit those, and then begin working on short stories. Uh, Lengthen the, start to, start to build up the length of the pieces that you're submitting, the pieces that you're writing. And eventually you'll be able to write novels. I know everyone wants to jump right into the novel, but jumping right into the novel, like I've, say, like I've stated, is such a trap and it just, 
it wastes years of people trying to chase after this idea of a novel that they will eventually just put away. Again, I, I wrote, I, I wrote three, I, I almost wrote five fantasy fiction novels. Each, each, each one, one that I wrote got a little bit better and a little bit better, but it was never up to the quality that I would ever think of even going back and revising them. It, it is, is something, something that if this channel ever hits 50, if this channel does ever hit 50 subscribers, I will, I will read some of the, some of my writing from back when I was an undergrad, some of the writing that I was producing when I was a teenager, and I will highlight how dreadful it was, and I can also talk about how this has been a change, and I can identify why this is work that never saw the light of day, why this is, this was writing that was solely for me to produce so that I, I was capable of knowing that I'm capable of writing. After all, you don't want to lose steam in the middle of your magnum opus. You want to build up, you want to scaffold your way up to the novel. Again, my recommendation would be start out with microfiction, build your way up to short stories. Once you get comfortable writing short stories, write maybe a novella. And then once you get comfortable writing novella length pieces, begin to write novel length pieces. And over that course of time, you're submitting your work you're you're more you're likely getting some you're likely getting some acceptances here and there but it's going to help build the habit of understanding what it's like to be submitting your work and working as a writer and being a modern day author and so some books that i would recommend if you're looking to to get a better idea of what if you're looking to get a better idea of what flash fiction looks like some books that i would recommend would be the voice imitator by thomas bernhard Joy Williams' 99 Stories of God, Katie Schultz's Flashes of War. These are all books that I read during my MFA program, and what I ended up creating for, for my creative thesis was a collection of flash fiction, so I highly recommend all those books. I'm sure there are many others out there that would be great to use as a point of study because flash fiction is not trying to capture the same thing that a short story is trying to capture. Short stories are not trying to capture the same thing that a novel is trying to capture. They're all very different entities. And if you get good at writing one and then you progress to the next level and you keep progressing, your skill as a writer will improve. It will continue to improve. Again, you have to do as much writing as you possibly can. Write more, read more, and these are going to help, help you improve the most. So hopefully that helps you realize that it might be time to put the novel down and work on shorter pieces. You might just even, you might even enjoy it more. And as always, keep it spooky. And of course, here's your writing prompt for sticking all the way through the video. The face in the window made him blank. So set your timer and start writing. Thank you so much.